All right, I can't take it anymore. Some rat just bit me in there. In the morning, I'm bulldozing this whole place down. Can't take it. Can't take it. All right. Well, I'm going to go to the motel for the night. Alright, that was a good breakfast. So I figured with my night, I deserved a good, healthy, uh, Nebraskan breakfast for us. Some little, uh, got some scrambled eggs and some bacon. Mmm, mmm. Man, last night was horrible. I tried staying in my trailer. I tell you what, that is one rat infested trailer I have. I am done with this place. Bodozing it all down. It's not going to be here. So first thing, I need to move all of my equipment out of the way. And then I need to contact, find somewhere in town where I can rent something I could use to move this. I could use the 84R here, but uh, it'd just take too long tearing this all down. So I, I think I want something bigger something badder. All right, let's move the Dodge or the Ram here. Park this in here uh, last night just to uh, keep it all right. So I do own this piece of land right out on the other side here. So I have, I have big plans to flatten this all out. So I'm gonna have to move all my equipment somewhere along the road. So this land is mine, uh, obviously it's still, it's not planted yet, so we're not harming it. I'm going to have to uh, probably cultivate it, so we're not compacting it at all. So I'm going to park all the equipment probably like right here, maybe, maybe, we'll see. This place is just overgrown, you just see all them plants everywhere, man bush scrape me so we're gonna uh, get into silver bullet here so if you see uh, we are way behind we need to get our uh, crops into the ground but first off I mean I can't live like this conditions I need to uh, I have a contractor that can build right now so Right now, we need to focus on getting our uh, place ready to start building. I also need a header, head for this uh, for this harvester. Uh, we're not going to do anything with just a uh, combine. Gotta walk through all this. Uh, yep, I'm gonna move our 8230 here that we picked up. Really liking this 8230 with the Vermeer Baylor. Got the tinted windows on it, so when it's nice and sunny out and the sun's in your face and your eyes, you can definitely still, it's just a little bit more relaxing. All right, so we've got our big equipment lineup going here. Got the Glinger. Over there, the John Deere. I was thinking I, I need some more red on the farm, don't I? I mean, I don't want all green. I do have a, a little uh, a gleaner out there. I heard that uh, they are starting to do the Massey Ferguson's in the, the old gleaner uh, lunchbox uh, style. I'd prefer them just keeping the old gleaner look, but it's their corporation, I guess. So we're going to move this over. Our old Lodestar 1600 here. Start this old baby up. This baby has some power. It'll pull it right up on that hill. No issues. So I'm probably going to unload the John Deere here just because I I want to 
use this to go pick up the piece of equipment. Alright, let's back this off. Start this old girl up. I know, it's brand new and I call it an old girl, but just what, uh, kind of learned that from my dad, I guess. He used to always call his uh, new equipment old girls. I don't know why. Just something he liked nicknaming, I guess. Alright, our last truck, our Peterbilt over here, and we're done finally moving this equipment around. Get in this, we'll actually take this by the highway like normal people. Start it up. I'm in a rush today, so I'm not letting stuff really uh, warm up, or really uh, the air get built up. So, I know it's kind of unsafe, but... I'm in a hurry. I could use this to pick up the piece of equipment, but I just think it's easier with my other trailer. I don't have to unlatch it or anything like that. I just can. It's basically load and play type trailer. Alright, so this is our last piece of equipment we brought from Iowa. It's a shame all that equipment this is all we brought but we got a pretty good price from the ethanol plant so we'll jump into this uh, load star here and uh, hopefully go pick up this piece of equipment seems like I sit back so far in this load star oh well all right is anybody coming over there I know they're probably not expecting me to come out right here so need to watch that Okay, I think uh, I can turn here. So I I did talk to the gas station. They said that possibly there's a business that will loan me uh, equipment that I might be looking for. Uh, I guess this is... Uh, what the heck? No way. Uh, that thing is giant. Is that what they're talking about? Look at that thing. That thing is huge. Uh, yeah. That was bigger than what I was expecting. That's what she said. Okay. Yep. Uh, I guess, uh, we will make do. Uh, I think the load star is a little bit too small. Pretty positive it's too small. That would basically just put it into the ground. But they said we could loan this. This is the biggest equipment piece of equipment I have ever drove. Uh, yeah, I guess this would do. A 994F cat. I mean, look at these tires. I, I stand at the, not even the center of the rim right there. That cylinder, I couldn't even pick up that cylinder. It's huge. Just to turn. Uh, I, get, I guess this is how I get up right here. That looks uh, pretty big. Let's see. Wow. Now you can tell that's the power behind you when you start up that thing. Oh wow. Yeah. Let's... And I thought I could load this onto this trailer. Let, let's just compare this really quick here. You ever feel like you have a round hole and a square peg? Yeah. Yeah, I was a dumb dumb. Not doing that, that's for sure. I guess I get to drive this through town. That'll be interesting. I don't even know what do they what do they use this for over here? Not sure, but this thing is giant. Alright, there's no one coming. So you really gotta watch out for traffic because uh you'll just flatten them completely if you're driving this thing. Oh, Got put on her flashers, even though one can see them going this high. 
No one can see these freaking flashers. I mean, we're as high as that restaurant I ate at. Crazy. Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to have to talk to the electric company to uh, possibly these electrical highline lines here so we could get across. Because there's no way we're going to get over here. Uh-oh. All right, so uh, got the highline lines lowered so I can cross. Here we go. We're going to start uh, cutting in here. We're just going to bulldoze this into a whole big hole. So we're going to cut a big hole right here. So we're just cutting into this big hill here. Getting big loads of dirt backing up over here. And dumping over here in this pile here. Yep, just like so. So we're basically trying to level as much as this as possible. So I guess uh, I'll start tearing this whole thing down and uh, see you in a bit. So I'm still trying to dig out all these, uh, basically, this mound here. I'm just going to flatten this whole area down. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with this great big pile of dirt uh, but for right now we are just uh, dumping it right there and continuously digging out this area uh, I figured beans I have this uh, big loader here I'm going to try to move the bins so I think I'll get the load star over here and once I get this mound right here leveled off I'm going to use this uh, big basically uh, mammoth piece of equipment to try to get these bins moved uh, I don't know if I'll use them in my other farm, I'll probably get them checked out. And then uh, if they are still good structurally and everything, I'll put them down there. Because uh, why waste a good set of bins? I mean, bins nowadays are like uh, gold to farmers. So, so I'm going to continuously get this nice and flattened out and probably uh, dig out some of these bushes. And I will see you in a bit. Alright, so, man, this big pile of dirt's getting huge. Oh, man, I can't even hardly climb up on it. Whoo! Got a high point of land here. You can see this for miles. You can see that thing for miles. But, I think we're about ready to move these bins, so I'll get the Lodestar over here. I will have to go probably walk, move this out of the way, and uh, hopefully back that trailer up and uh, unload one of these bins there. Alright, we went and picked this thing up. I'm gonna get it back over here to the farm. Ooh, watch out, cars. Wide load coming through. I guess this is a good thing about having nice straight highways. You could really see a far away if there's traffic coming. Okay, I really don't know what the best uh, way to back this trailer up. I think I'm just going to wing it like I do everything else. Yeah. Oh, wow. We can drive right under that thing. Still can't get over how big that thing is. It's giant. All right, so now we got to lift this thing and get it on this trailer. Look at that wee truck down there. Looks like a little, uh, toy. Alright, so I gotta go find some chains. Luckily this thing will, like, lift this like it's, uh, nothing. Ooh, wow, yep. That's what you need. See? Easily gets up high enough. Yeah. 
Welker Farms, man. This is how you do these bins here. All right, we'll get that chained up, climb up that ladder there. Okay, just got to get these chains up on here. All right, uh, let's see if we can get this done. All right, so we got that loaded on now. Talk about a big load for the Lodestar. Uh, yeah, that thing is giant. Let's climb down this longest ladder ever. All right. Yep, load it up. So I'm gonna move this over by the other one we set up. I'll probably just leave this on the trailer because I plan on putting these down somewhere on my new uh, farm yard once it gets built. Uh, yeah, figure out how to move these around. Yeah, this, this is definitely a giant load we gotta move here. This Lodestar takes everything it's got. I mean, look at that thing. Looks tiny. Oh, wait. Forgot I can't go this way. That's higher than the Highline poles. I'm gonna ground out this whole uh, neighborhood and everyone will hate me then. Yeah, I'm gonna have to back up, go through my field there. Just gotta back this up, make sure I don't ground out the Highline the electrical lines here. Wow. Yep. A long ways I gotta back up. Just backing down this road as far as I can. Alright. Now we're done there. Now we'll drive over to where we set the other one at. Man. Grant's house. He sure builds big houses over there. You see that giant thing? Let's see that from like five miles away. He is probably the wealthiest farmer around here. Alright, so I think I'm just gonna leave this right by this road here. I don't think I'm gonna set this one down means we got them both moved now so I'll clear out the rest of this uh, farmyard here shut this thing old girl down need to clear this whole thing out and get to work I'm building my new farm all right so we have been working hard so I got all the bushes all the trees my uh, dump of a uh, trailer there uh, some of the buildings I basically pushed him down in this big hole so I uh, yeah I'm gonna just dig this hole and bury this all the old-fashioned way of basically uh, getting all this down here and uh, just disappearing it in the dirt that's one way to do it huh but uh, we got this big mound here so now I need to push all this uh, flat here and start uh, filling in this dirt but I have plans to basically uh, do big things around here so once I get this all flattened out and uh, buried all the nastiness that was from this old uh, rundown place I plan on basically uh, building a house somewhere out here I don't know exactly where I've been talking to a few contractors See, there's a, there's a big uh, farmstead over there. I know Grants is right there. You can always see his uh, house. I mean, look at his house. It's just, You could tell right there, it's parallel to his bins. Bins are high. I mean, extremely high. And that's parallel. It's almost as high as his uh, old silos behind it. That's a nice looking uh, farm layout, though. I'm not complaining about that, but man... I wish I was as rich as him and could afford a house like that. Can't fit that into our budget, though, unfortunately. But I really need to get this done because I got a lot of farmland I need to uh, basically uh, end up uh, tilling here and planting. Uh, but, I mean, this is an important part. You got to get settled before you really get your feet 
wet and start farming hard. Otherwise, you don't have a good foundation at home and everything. Everything else fails sooner or later. I've seen it way too often, especially when I'm in the military. It's pretty common for the young airmen that come in there. But I really like this mount. I might keep this here. I mean, look at this. It's like my uh, lookout point. I could see anybody trying to, uh, I could see what the other farmers are doing, uh, man. There is, like, no high ground anywhere on this map. It's flat, flat, flat. I do like the skyline, I do like the feel of the air, I mean, I love Nebraska, but man, I'm not used to a flat land like this. Ours had a little bit of, uh, basically hills and valleys and stuff like that you can see off in the distance but this is flat I'm not complaining uh, I think I like this area better in Iowa I, I know I, it's sad but you know you always feel better at home I think but thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Nebraska Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.